This is the Fuel Genie System Installation Guide for Toyota Prius Generation 3 model cars. This guide should get you through the installation in under one hour. Before you get started, let's make sure you have all the necessary parts you'll need for this installation. You should have a reservoir, 4 feet of 3 8 inch black neoprene hose, a plastic T should be on the end of the hose, a 3 inch length of 13 millimeter black hose, 4 feet of red and black connecting wires, a fill spout, a one year supply of electrolyte, and you should also have a mounting bracket kit. As you stand in front of the car with the hood open, you will see the engine covering at the rear center of the compartment. Directly in front of the covering is the air filter housing and intake ductwork. To the right of the ductwork is the electric motor. There will be some slight changes from year to year, but the parts you will work with are the same except for some minor changes in shape. Remove the engine cover first. It's the one with the hole for the oil cap. There are three posts on the engine this cover attaches to. The lines show where these posts are under the cover. Slowly but with pressure, lift up on the cover while rocking back and forth until the cover unsnaps from the posts. Next, unbuckle the spring clamps holding the air filter cover in place. Loosen the clamp on the air intake duct. Remove the cover and filter. Remove the two 10 mm bolts in the bottom of the filter housing. Remove the 10 mm bolt on the top of the filter housing. Remove the filter housing by grabbing both sides of the housing and pull upward while twisting left and right. Locate the PCV valve hose coming from the rear of the engine. It is the only black 13 mm or half inch hose coming from the rear of the engine. Attach the 3 inch piece of hose included in the kit onto the exposed PCV hose fitting on the engine. Connect the other end to one side of the top of the plastic T fitting. Insert the bottom end of the T fitting into the reservoir hose and lay that hose over the front of the radiator and grill. Attach the hose coming from the PCV valve to the other top part of the T. Make sure all connections are snug. Totally airtight is not necessary. Do not use clamps. Do not use clamps. Reset the filter housing back onto the intake and secure the bolts. Insert the filter and replace the cover. Use the spring clamps to snap the housing in place and tighten the clamp on the air intake tube. The fuse box is located to the right of the electric motor as you face the car. Remove the cover. Inside you will see a terminal covered with a red protective cap. This is the positive terminal connected to the battery in the rear of the car. This is where the positive reservoir wire will be attached. Hold the red positive wire and locate the U connector on one end of the wire. Bend the U 90 degrees to the connector body. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the nut on the positive terminal in the fuse box until you can slide the bent U connector under the nut. Tighten the nut firmly. The ground connection terminal may vary from year to year, but is in the general area to the left and rear of the fuse box. It will be a 13 millimeter raised nut. Loosen the nut and insert the U of the ground wire and then retighten. Thread the two wires neatly to the area between the grill and the radiator. Replace the cover on the fuse box and this part of the installation is finished. Before you begin the reservoir installation, check to see that the reservoir is operating properly. All Fuel Genie systems are tested for proper operation before they are packaged and sold, but it is our policy to always check for proper operation before they are installed in vehicles 
in case there is a problem in the wiring or vacuum connections. Pour the recommended solution of sodium hydroxide into the reservoir. Attach the 3 8 inch neoprene hose and connect the positive and negative wires to the reservoir. Rest the reservoir in a secure spot where it will not tip over or have someone hold it. Now start the motor. Press the power button on the dashboard. When the lights are lit, press the accelerator pedal all the way to the floor. The engine will start. Slowly ease up on the accelerator and take your foot off. Check to see that the reservoir is filling with cloudy bubbles and no large bubbles are present. It should look like this. Turn the engine off, disconnect the reservoir from the hose and wire connections and set it aside for now. The reservoir is going to be installed in the area between the radiator and the front grill. To access this area you must remove the three or four plastic push-pull studs from the engine cowling. Use the edge of a razor knife to lift the locking pin of the stud and then pull the whole stud out. Next you will remove the two screw bumpers and plastic studs from the grill cowling. Pull the plastic bumper assembly forward exposing the area where the mounting bracket and reservoir will be installed. When you look down inside this area you will see a rectangular metal tube extending from side to side of the vehicle. This is the actual bumper. Practice first before you install the mounting bracket. Take one of the 20 inch zip ties from the installation kit and work it between the metal bumper and the plastic grill works until both ends are free and pointing toward the radiator. After you see how this is done, take the mounting bracket in hand and loop the wire tie through the top hole as shown. With the zip tie threaded through the top hole, Lower the mounting bracket into the area and thread the zip tie from top to bottom around the metal bumper tube. Pull the end of the tie through a lower hole in the bracket and then thread through the head of the zip tie. Pull the zip tie tight until the bracket is snug against the bumper tube. Insert the reservoir into the area. You may need to pull out on the plastic bumper assembly, but it will fit. Now take the 3 8 inch hose hanging over the grill and thread it under the metal bracket holding the radiator into the area where the Fuel Genie system is installed. There are gaps under the bracket and differ from year to year. You will have to find what spot works best for you. Ensure there are no twists in the hose and connect it to the 3 8 inch nipple on the reservoir. Be sure to turn the reservoir so that the fill spout is accessible. Since the system only needs refilling every 5,000 miles, you can cut out a small section of the radiator cowling to have access to the reservoir cap, or you can just remove the engine cowling to expose the cap when you change the oil in the car, or you can leave the cowlings off. It won't hurt the engine or car performance to leave the cowlings off. Before you begin replacing the grill bumpers and push-pull studs, Start the engine once again to ensure that all connections are secure. You should be able to see the cloudy formation of bubbles in the reservoir. If not, recheck your connections. This concludes the installation video. The pictures used in this production were from different years of the Generation 3 Prius. Should you have any problems or need tech support, you may call us at 1-866-209-6682 during normal business hours.